I think really few people know who Henri Nestle is. As the name suggests, he is the founder of Nestle. So, how do you think he was able to establish such a successful company? Which people were behind it? Or was it pure luck? Let's examine it. Henri Nestle was born on August 10, 1814, in Frankfurt, Germany. His father, a successful entrepreneur, believed that the German economy would grow with an entrepreneurial spirit in the 19th century and encouraged his children to become entrepreneurs. His son, Henri, was interested in the profession of pharmacy from an early age and wanted to improve himself in this field. At the age of 18, he took a job as an apprentice to a pharmacist. Later, he settled in Lausanne, Switzerland in 1834 to increase his knowledge and experience in pharmacy. Henri Nestle, who achieved commercial success in many fields with the entrepreneurial spirit brought by his father, started to draw attention not only in Lausanne but also all over Europe. Thanks to the Industrial Revolution in Europe at that time, the number of factories increased and immigration to cities accelerated. While international trade developed thanks to steamships and trains, the market was growing, but healthy nutrition and living conditions in the cities were getting harder day by day. During this period, maternal and infant mortality rates were very high, and infant formula was one of the products that were most lacking. Henri Nestle started working on cow's milk to find a solution to this problem. Nestle's main focus was on combining cow's milk with a special blend to create an infant formula that could replace breast milk. In 1867, these studies yielded positive results and Henri Nestle was able to develop the world's first milk-based baby food and put it on the market under the name Farine Lacti. Baby foods developed by Henri Nestle made cow's milk suitable for the digestion of babies. Kindermel products, which were launched after Farine Lacti, increased the variety in baby foods. The real rise of the Nestle brand began in the second half of the 1870s. Henri Nestle, who was interested in Daniel Peter, who shared his milk chocolate works with Henri Nestle and thought that he could change the history of chocolate, offered Daniel Peter to work together. They then succeeded in perfecting the formula for milk chocolate and formed a new partnership in 1879. Chocolate, which was first consumed by drinking, became a food consumed by biting as a result of Henri Nestle's work with Daniel Peter. Nestle milk chocolates were both sweet and very soft, while retaining the taste of cocoa. Moreover, in terms of selling price, it was suitable for the purchasing power of the people. In 1905, the company merged with the Anglo-Swiss Condensed Milk Company, Europe's first condensed milk company, and became what it is today's Nestle. During this period, Nestle prioritized hiring new chemists and qualified personnel to increase production and sales. Working within Nestle, Max Morgenthaler made a breakthrough in the history of instant coffee and succeeded in creating Nescafe. In the 1940s, Nestle introduced Nescafe to large audiences, thanks to numerous newspaper advertisements and advertisements. The main rise of Nescafe is too. It took place after World War II. So what do you think about Nestle? You can specify in the comments.